welcome back it's Debbie from the Tarot Bay I'm here with your daily reading for the 29th of October 2022 hope you're all doing well please subscribe if you fall upon this channel I need to grow my subscribers I'm going to shuffle the cards first and we'll get started what have we got for a message for today the 29th of October. Okay, we're going to start up then with the King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles is stalking me. Here he is. So he's at the centre of the reading today, the King of Pentacles. Here we see somebody who's very financially stable, somebody who's quite powerful, authoritative, particularly in business, a leader somebody in a leadership road, role, we've got somebody who is a very loyal person, very loyal, You can is a very dependable person usually, this king of pentacles, very strong, wise, intelligent person. So what's leading us into this situation? We have the page of pentacles. Okay, the Page of Pentacles is the start of a new endeavour. So whether that's business, whether that's love, somebody's offered you or the universe has offered you an opportunity which you've taken and you're using it to your advantage. I do see somebody using something to their advantage here in a situation. That's the message you get from that. Future energies, we're seeing the Queen of Swords again coming out. So the Queen of Swords is quite an independent soul, very intelligent, very wise, very powerful. She doesn't mince her words. She says it how it is. She cuts through any, any rubbish. She's a warrior. She's been there, seen it, done it all. She comes out strong. She comes out the winner. This is a card of victory, truth. Okay, so we have all the people around. So let's see what's going on. Any other messages in sight for today's message, the 29th of October? We're seeing the High Priestess, which is... Clarifying our page of pentacles here, the high priestess, very psychic, very intuitive, very spiritually aware, very in tune with herself, in tune with her emotions, highly emotional. Okay, I get that somebody's taking a risk on something with this page of pentacles, this gift that's been offered to them. They're really taking, they're really thinking about this. They're really trying to use the gut and to take taking what's on offer like and saying, well, this is what I feel I need right now. This is what I need to do, whether it's growing a project, an investment, investing in someone or in something. It's taking that opportunity because you're going with your gut feeling on it. Clarifying our King of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is coming in with a fun invitation, exciting times. It's coming in very quickly. It's a very enthusiastic energy. It's action. Bringing with it fun invitations and fun messages. You know, it can represent travel. Okay, I'm picking up on travel. Someone who's just ready to, to ride off into the sunset, energetic, wild, fun-loving. It's a really good energy. So I think this King of Pentacles is coming in with this energy. Yeah, I do get the, quite a loyal a sense of loyalty with this. And especially this Queen of Swords, I feel, is quite loyal to this King of Pentacles. And clarifying our Queen of Swords, we're seeing the Three of Pentacles. So the Three of Pentacles is that teamwork card, collaboration, working together. 
You know, I think this Queen of Swords has decided that action is going to be taken to work together, to come together. To make plans. The Three of Pentacles is about making plans, developing, reaping the benefits from hard work, sharing ideas. You know, it's now gaining rewards and recognition. So the, the hard work is paying off because someone's coming for, towards you and they're coming towards you quite quickly. If you are, if this is about business and this is a new idea that you have then now would be the time, the right time to go for it, to take action on it. Because you will be rewarded, recognised, I do see big victory here, big victory. And enjoying work. You know, the, the three year pentacles is about applying your talents, being creative, practical, deriving some form of pleasure from that as well. Okay, any other messages, guidance, advice for today? We are once oh, a couple of ones to fall out there. So let's take one more. So we're seeing the sun. So yeah, I mean I definitely see travel. Travel on the cards for somebody planning travel, planning holidays. The sun is happiness, it's clarity on a situation, it's 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 knowing where you're going. Light has been shed on a, on a situation. You see it very clearly now. You're willing to open up to those around you. Something's growing. There's growth in a situation. A healthy growth. Okay, happiest card in the deck. And we're seeing the Knight of Pentacles as well as this King, this Knight of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. So I do see this King of Pentacles coming in with an offer. It's quite a, um, a big offer, like a grand gesture. They're wanting to whisk you off, I think. I think that's what we're seeing. Somebody's wanting to wish you off somewhere. They're coming in with some form of a gift. They've definitely got all feet on the ground. They're very loyal. This is a really loyal person. This is a really loyal person that we're seeing here. And this person succeeds through hard work and determination. So this person's really been quite determined to come back, or I'm saying come back in your life, or come to you in some way. Yeah, they've had their eye on you for some time. And they've persevered through something. They've succeeded through determination. You know, they're quite cautious. The King of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles are quite cautious. They don't they don't make hasty decisions. So despite the fact we've got this Knight of Wands here, and that is a very rash person, you know, they're, they're enthusiastic, they're, they're just all about fun. It, yes, the, he might be coming across like that or she might be coming across like that to you. However, believe me, they've put a lot of, a lot of, thought into this yeah they're seeing happy they're seeing happiness with you they're seeing the happy ever after with you and then in the future energy we have the nine of pentacles here so nine of pentacles again it's like a very independent strong woman she's very financially stable you know she has her own job she doesn't need anybody else's money she knows her worth She's very, very stable, very happy with what she has. So I think you're maintaining some independence. That's what I say. You're maintaining that independence. Um, and someone recognises that in you and someone wants to be on board with that. So if this is a new project or a new beginning in work, people will see that in you. They will see those amazing qualities that you have in you and they, they, you're just drawing people in if you're with me you're just drawing people in right now whether it's romance or you know in terms of, uh, of business friendships people want to be around you because you've given up off really good vibe really strong confident and that's lovely to see 
Okay, any other messages, guidance, advice for today, 29th of October? We're seeing the Seven of Wands. Yeah, this is someone who's really fighting for you. Yeah, they're def they're, they are doing everything they can. Everything they can. They're coming in with grand gestures. They're coming in wanting to whisk you away. This is perseverance. It's very much similar energy to this night. Pentacles, fending off competition, staying strong. The focus is on winning with this seven of wands. They will win. They will succeed through anything. They want to work through issues with you. They want to work through issues in a, in a positive way, with a positive attitude. Yeah, this person's really done the thinking. They've really done the thinking. The sights are firmly set on you. They they know what they're after. This isn't no. This isn't definitely no like sudden rash movement towards you. This has been a build up. There's been something working towards this. It's got quite a slow build up to it. I see. Someone is very very determined. Any more? Messages for us clarifying this seven of wands. Five of pentacles is a loss. So what I see there is that somebody has felt pushed out in the cold. Complete that whether that's you, your energy or their in energy, you'll know that. Um, but this is coming from a place of need. Very needy energy. You know, the des a, a desperation really, the sense of desperation. They've really felt pushed out. Somebody's really been pushed out. They've had the nose out a joint. And all they have on their mind now is, I, I just want this happiness. I just want clarity. I just want to know. I'll do anything it takes to win you back. Or to 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 win your affections. And, and in, in terms of business, if we're looking at that from this point of view, you know, someone's coming from a place of hardship and they're doing everything it takes to make a success of, of a project, an idea. They've got the idea and, the, and they are, they know that it's very clear, this idea. It's very clear. And they're fighting, they're fighting for their position. They're fighting to get jobs. Fighting to prove themselves, to persevering, you know, to overcome what has been a really difficult time financially. We're also seeing the Ace of Swords. So again, clarity, victory, communication, something definitely, there's been a win here. There's definitely a win. There's definitely a win here. This is telling, this is a yes, it's telling you to go for it. It's telling you that you're on the right path. It's new beginning. It's a bright new beginning. A bright new beginning. This person's gonna gonna feel like this. They're gonna feel like they've won you over. You know the the really all these cards here and here we've got, and I think with those knights as well we have. You see the eyes of the goat in the eyes of the eagle there they're looking at you you know this is your energy i see with the nine of pentacles this is you on this side i see this they're looking right at you they they you're the goal you're the goal you're the prize you're the prize They're completely focused and determined. This is real focus, what we see when we see the Ace of Swords. It's a breakthrough. It's mental growth. This person's learned a lot of lessons, a lot of lessons if this is someone returning. They've learned a lot of lessons. They've been hurt. They've really been hurt. But, but it's like now they know, now they realise, now they realise it's you they want. It's you they're going towards. You know, they're not going to give up. They're not going to give up. 
Now, if we're looking at this future energy in another in another way, we're seeing a very strong, independent person. You might you might not you might be rejecting their advances. Yeah, you very well you very well may be rejecting someone's advances here because of this. I see such a strong independent independent female energy with these cards it could be a, a man obviously you know that men who are listening but i'm picking up really strongly this is a strong powerful female who don't take no crap who's looking out for herself who knows her worth but but if i'm being honest the person i see come towards you is a trustworthy loyal person who has done the work on themselves and they're completely devoted, devoted to, to, to getting you, to getting the prize. Any final ooh, messages? The devil wants to fall on me. I'm going to clarify it with the Eight of Swords. Okay, so what I'm picking up on then with the devil and the Eight of Swords is a huge anxiety, crippling anxiety, crippling anxiety. Um, you know, the devil cards can be about obsessions, obsessive thought. So it's overindulgence on something. Yeah. And in this situation, I'm seeing it as being new thoughts, negative thoughts. A similar message to yesterday, you know, this feeling of, am I good enough? Is this the right thing to do? A bit, a bit of uncertainty with it. Again, you've got the blindfold on. Are you letting this person in? You know, are you going to be letting them in? I'm not sure. I am not sure. Um, and I don't think you are either. I had the same message yesterday. What we're getting with the devil is a greedy, materialistic person, egotistical person, and I'm set. I mean, this person's obsessed with you. I, I, I totally get this person's obsessed with you, and I think they're very materialistic as well. I think it's all. I've think, been saying it for days. Go back, watch all my videos. Saying it for days. This person's all about the money. Um, workaholic type figure. You know, that's what I get. Workaholic with this devil card being here as well. Um, in terms of love, it's obsession. It can be quite harmful, really. It can be abusive. Um, there's a huge sexual desire, a huge sexual. But usually, you know, what we're seeing is it's very self-inflicted negativity. And especially when it's next to this Eight of Swords, I see this as being very self-inflicted. Yeah, this is someone's fear. This is someone's fear. Yeah. Hey, this could be them or you, but someone is fearful. You know, if it is an abusive person you're dealing with, then you must stay strong and don't, te you know, don't go back there. You know, if, if it is abuse that I'm picking up on, um, you're right to be doubtful and have the self-doubt. So obviously be sensible about the decisions that you make in regards to this person. Um... But again, it'll just see it as being your own worst enemy. Like, you've got to try and overcome whatever this fear is that's keeping you trapped. Um, and, and blocking. I do see someone blocking somebody a bit. And I, I think you've got to work through what that. what is that about, really. Um, I see fear. I see huge fear. So that, I feel, is your message for today. Let's end with what uh, messages we're getting from the universe. Let's end with the universe message for today, the 29th of October. We're seeing, oh, the same message as yesterday. I choose to learn through love. I choose to learn through love. Are you, is this what you're f f fearful of? Are you fearful of love? Are you fearful of letting somebody in? Because this, with the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords, I'm seeing, and the being, being clarified here by the Three of Pentacles, 
It might be that you're scared to let this person back in because you don't want to get hurt again. You know, there's a reason the universe wants to throw a pretty similar message to yesterday up and, and plus this, the same card basically that I've got again. You know me, I like to pull the same card out. Right, that's your message for today then. Take care.